So, we are back on another heritage line. We're on the North York Moors Railway. And what are we trying to do on the North Yorkshire Moors Railway? We're going to try to visit every station. So as you'll have just seen, we've just left uh, Gromont as our first station, and we'll be heading to Newton Dale, which I think is the only request stop on this railway. Ah, back in the days when seats were actually nice and comfortably padded. Almost like Gothland, and then after that will be Newton Dale, ten minutes after Gothland. I feel like Mark 1 coach is a pretty much like the staple sort of heritage rolling stock. But honestly, they're, they're great, they're very comfy. Right, well, there's Newton Dale, and we are quickly snaking our way towards it. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you very much. All right. Newton Dale Holt, we're here. <laughs> now we need to walk to Leversham. It's an mm -hmm. hour and a half walk, but it should be a nice walk actually. As per <laughs> all uh, stations, request stops with Holt in their name, which actually I think that's what Holt usually means. But yeah, in the middle of nowhere. Wow, remarkable. Warning adders. Oh God. Um, the guard though did say that they're apparently not around at this time of year, but. <laughs> I'm used to snakes in the UK. I don't really associate them with that. Oh look, LNER. What are they doing here? Okay, that's, that's, that's the original London and Northeastern Railway, I know. Not, not that young. So, we now have to walk from here to Leversham. Um, but we've got like three hours to do it, so we'll be, we'll be fine. It's only like an hour and a half walk. It's a, it's a bit muddy. Let's just... <laughs> Didn't bring walking boots because I thought, oh, we're walking on a, pa a path, it'll be fine. Let's hope we don't get <laughs> mud everywhere. Okay, so apparently, actually, we've got about two hours, ten minutes or something. Um, we were about, like, 11 or 12 minutes late coming into Newton Dale. So it's uh, truncated our time a little bit, but the walk's only about an hour and a half. We're fine. Look at that. That is just a mad-looking forest. I would hate to get lost in there. Nice view of the railway here. It would be great if one of the trains well, passed through here. Yeah, the, the train that we just got on is going to Pickering and coming back again. We won't be able to get that on in, in time, but we we'll hopefully should see it. That, that would be that would be good. That would be good. Oh, we hear it. We can hear the locomotive. About to pass by. That is so good. Oh my word. A 15 speed limit. That's moderately rare, I think. So we've got an hour in and we've got 20 minutes left now. Not long. Almost there. Keep going. So we'll be there soon. Yay. All right, at long last, I think this is Leversham Station down here. There's a train that we've just seen pull in as well. It's going the uh, wrong way, though, because we're going to go to Pickering after this, and this one's going northbound. <laughs> Is anybody going to wave back to me? Hello! I can't, I can't tell from this angle, but hello, yes. Oh, we got one, we got one, nice. <laughs> it's one of the uh, old style of crossing lights. They've got actual like bulbs instead of LEDs like the modern ones do. All right, so station number three, we've made it to Levisham. Woo. <laughs> Woo! This is a very nice, cute station. Got a cottage. Some stuff stabled here, and I think there's a uh, diesel train back there. I, I, I couldn't name it, but it looks like a diesel train. So we've got about a 45 minute wait for our next train, which we're going to then go to Pickering. We've come to the waiting shelter. <laughs> hey, so we've come to the waiting shelter. <laughs> we've come to the waiting shelter just because it was out of the uh, wind. But uh, yeah, there's, there's no special events on, unfortunately. What a shame. What a, what a shame. <laughs> Right, well, we've only got about five minutes until it's uh, due. Uh, whether it actually arrives at that time, we don't know for sure, but we'll find out. We've just heard a very, very distant whistle. That's a good sign. Oh, 
Right. Great. Very cool. Right, our next stop will be Pickering, the end of the line. Ooh. Well, the south end of the line. <laughs> we still get to get to Whitby. Yeah. We'll be doing that later. We're just passing through what is presumably a depot for all the carriages they've got. Here comes Pickering. Let's get ready to get out. There we go. Very nice. Pickering Station. How cool. Shame we don't really have time to explore, but uh, yes, yeah, so it's about 10 minutes till we turn around. Well, immediately back on the same train because we only have about 10 minutes here. It's going to turn around now and we will go to Gothland. Oh, the loco is whooshing. Probably means we're leaving soon. And we are off, so we will be off to Gothland Station. How uh, far is Gothland from here? About 50 minutes. 50 minutes, alright, cool. Views on this line from here are good. Lots of trees. It's very uh, sort of bumpy, there's a lot of like up and down motion, <laughs> sort of bobbing up and down as we're moving along the track. <laughs> Feels cool though, I like it. I wouldn't call it the greatest of ride quality, but then again, these carriages are built in the 50s? Question mark? So I can, I can excuse it. <laughs> I get a feeling we are pulling into Levisham now. Well, we're back at Levisham, again, but we're gonna keep going this time. We're gonna carry on past it. Well, passing Newton now now means that the next station is Gothland. All right, I think Gothland's right here. So, yeah, Gothland seems to be quite a very popular station for people to get off at. And I can imagine so because this was, I believe, the station used as Hogsmeade in the Harry Potter films, so that's quite cool. You can see why they filmed here though. It's very beautiful and definitely, you know, has the sort of old theme that they'd be going for. <laughs> of course we have to take a brief look outside of the station. So our next run out of here is due in... 10? Ten, ten minutes? Ten yeah. minutes, yes. Well, that is if it arrives on time. Our train here was like half an hour late yeah. or something, so... I don't know. It's going the same way, so I don't know if that'll affect it, but oh well, we'll find out. <laughs> so, um, update, apparently it's about 45 minutes late, so... Uh, Let's go for a walk and explore Gothland. Let's do that. Over the Barrow Crossing. <laughs> Love me some Barrow Crossings. Careful, Matt, make sure to close the gate or you'll be fined a whole whopping two pounds. <laughs> be careful. Oh no. So, uh... Which way? That way or that way? Well, you're walking that way, so I'm going to assume this way. <laughs> That's a nice view down onto the station. Huh, this is a good path to pick. There's also a uh, summit to this uh, incline here. And I'm inclined to see, <laughs> inclined, to see what's up here. Oh, wow. Nice. What a, what a view. Gosh. Oh dear, we uh, noticed this on the way through, but we didn't actually know if it was a fire or not. But over there, the moors are on fire. And that's probably also why it smells mildly smoky over here. So we're walking a bit further and the path does loop around and goes back down there towards the station. Right, well, we are back again, and I think we're just going to wait now until it arrives. Yeah. 
we've got a little baby table, but uh, it'll do. My glasses are also fogging up because <laughs> it was so like cold out there and it's so humid in here. It's just. Uh. So off we go now to the final stop of Whitby. The steam train changes out here, it changes out to a diesel one because the steam train is not actually able to go on the main line because after Gromon it goes on to the main line track. I think the diesel loco has been coupled up now, so it should just be a matter of time. So there we go, off to uh, Whitby now from Gromont, about half an hour? Yeah. Ish. Close enough. Because we're now being towed by a diesel loco instead, it's now just like, there's no chug chug and it's now just basically silent. <laughs> Funnily enough, that river is the River Esk, considering this is the Esk Valley line, yeah. I would, I would think it would be the Esk. Slight. We're passing through a few uh, mainline stations because there's a few between uh, Gromont and Whitby because we are running along the mainline tracks as well. Uh. We've just passed through uh, Rusup, which is another station on the line, and I think the last one before Whitby. Also, the uh, Larpool Viaduct, a former railway viaduct. And here we are, the northern end of the line, Whitby. All right, yep, Whitby. Very cool. Does this count as visiting the station if it was the heritage line? Hmm. hmm. Separate platform, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Whitby. Final Going. station. We made it. <laughs> It's actually my first ever time in Whitby, surprisingly. I'm I mean, about to show you around. You've been once. You twice, can show me all the, all the sites around here. So, yeah, every station on the North York Moors Railway. I think Completed. I think that's the first heritage line I've fully done now. So, yeah, that's, that's quite good. All in a single day as well. So, yeah, well, hope you enjoyed. And I suppose I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. And, of course, a massive shout out to all of my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. And a warm welcome to my new standard premium patron, Mr. Mining Plays. Thank you very much for supporting the channel.